Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about inserting symbols into your engraving if you ever needed to do a copyright or a registered trademark symbol. You know, if you ever need to make a deck of cards. A while back, I needed to make a couple of cards on a board, and uh, I could have probably got them off clip art, but I wanted to I wanted to make it, so I found them, and you can also find other things. So to find things like this, just go up to text, left click on text, and go insert characters, and you'll the docker will come up, and the entire font, is, well, let's just go to Arial. Arial is going to have probably the most, um, or the ones you're going to find, like there's the at sign, but it, this is looking at the entire font every symbol that's in this font, and it, there's a lot. Um, you know, some even in foreign languages and some shapes, and uh, there's some pretty neat stuff that would take you a good long time to draw. But what you can do, instead of looking at the entire font, just go down to symbols and click symbols and close that window, and then you'll just get symbols. And there's your... Uh, Let's see where the trademark is. There's your trademark. There's your um, you know rest, you know registered trademark. Uh, copyright would be the other one. And all you want to do is just left click it and just drag it out. And there you go. You've got it. And then you can reshape it to whatever size you want for your text. Uh, this same font had these playing cards in it. Uh, you know, the club, the spade, the heart, and the diamond. And it's a little bit di different diamond than you could probably draw. It's not, doesn't have perfectly straight edges. So it might be more like a playing card. Musical notes. You know, if you ever needed to find a musical note. Of course, you could always go to clip art. And, and, but a lot of times you'd have to trace them and, and do them. And then there's some other things that, you know, might take you a little while to draw. Let's just take this real quick. Make them a little larger. Let's, uh, I already did one. I did the letter R. This is the font copper, copper black, because it's bigger and bolder. But all you want to do, if you wanted to in, insert that into the clip art or into the text, just make it about the size of your, your text, your word. Click on your letter. Left click would be no fill. Right click would be red hairline. And then click on the item you want to put in the container and go to objects, power clip, place inside frame. It's going to give this arrow. Just put that arrow inside there. And there you go. Anyway, there's, I mean, every font is going to have different, different symbols. I apologize for that noise. I've got a virus on my computer. But every, you know, there's some... Uh, pretty neat stuff, you know, if you just want to look through it. Um, you know, you could change that and, um, you know, different things. And, um, you know, just look, you know, one night you're bored, just look through different fonts and and um, let's just see what, you know, Sherwood had. It's got some different, you know, there's another copyright, another registered tra trademark that looks a little different. You know, the... I think Arial is probably, that's a good one. Arial is probably a little more formal. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.